Well, this isn't going to last long. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the transient god dumb. This guy's got some pretty awesome articulation. The accessories that it needs, I'm really liking just the look of this kit in general. But I know what you guys came here to see some of that articulation. The head can't chicken neck. Can't really tilt up too much because of this little back collar thing. Can tilt down. Tilt side to side. And go around 360 degrees. There's a joint inside the torso that allows you to move the shoulder and the front titty. Oh, look at that front titty action. Like so. Shoulder armor can move up and down like so. And hinge allows for the arm to come up that high. The arms can go around. This kind of gets in the way, but still, 300 and 60 degrees. Swivel below the shoulder. Double jointed elbow. Yeah, ball joint it wrist and take it and spin it around. Do a little do a little bit that with it. It's fucking yeah, you know. Fucking ball joint. Fucking take that shit. Do fucking ball joint. God do that. Like with most kids, this has got two ball joints in the torso. First ball joint allows for that much range moving around. And then the ball up torso just swivels. And of course we can't have a modern Gundam kit without the body copter. Also, as everybody knows, front skirts come molded together, but you can't separate them. They can go up that high. The side skirts can come up that high and move back and forth like so. And this guy going out all types of bare ass. You can see that boot for days. He eat boot like a grocery. The legs can kick forward that far. Kick back that far. And of course, kick out to the side for the crotch copter. Swivel at the thigh. Double jointed knee. Even though most of that bend comes from the top joint. Ankle rockers. Actually, they're on kind of a ball joint. Also, the toe in the heel can close in like so. We've also got a little bit of backpack articulation. I'm going to make this pretty quick. So you got a little hinge right there, ball joint on both sides there, and a little hinge right here. And that's it. Now that we've seen that articulation, let's look at those accessories as two GN partisans the partisans do have the ability to open up like so and they can split in half and it also comes with these these closed fists and it's got this open hand this is what did the five fingers say to the face? Smack. <laughs> it also comes with this stand, and the stand's pretty cool. And, uh, 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 oh no. And, uh, See, like, it came just, like, kind of molded together, and you just pulled it apart and it snapped it together. It wasn't, like, in an actual, like, sprue. But I like the way the stand works, because you can, like, it has an adjustable, like, uh, you can take it apart. See, like, I just took it off like that, and then you can sit it up like that, and it can go right into its little crotch hole. <laughs> it did... <laughs> the crush. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, that's all that kit comes with. 
It's just that. Which, while that's pretty bare bones, this is still a pretty good kit. So, my only complaint with this kit is at least on mine, this little flap right here comes out very easily. Aside from that, no, there's no problems with this kit. I really like it. Um, another thing I could say that I like is this kit obviously based off of the Exia design. So with that being said, and how much articulation is in this kit, and them doing the revive line, we now have a good idea of what the new Exia HG kit's gonna be like. And if you don't have this kit, you should definitely pick it up. Cause like I said, it's bare bones, but it gets the job done. It gets the job done better than that denial Gundam over there. And that's it. That's all I have to say about this review. Hope you guys like it. See you guys next time.